Welcome back to Presume Legal. I'm Misha Janice. Thanks for joining me as we continue in our series where we rewatch testimony from the three past trials in the murder of Dan Markell. Three trials, one topic, one witness, Wendy Adelson. Let's see her testify about the motion that Dan filed against her for enforcement of the marital settlement agreement for contempt and for sanctions, also known as the Sunshine's motion. Do you remember this motion that was filed by your deceased ex-husband on March 26, 2014, involving, uh, it, among other things that had to do with your mother, an allegation that your mother was disparaging the children? I'm sorry. Overruled. Disparaging him to the children is what I meant to say. Are you familiar with that pleading? I am familiar with that pleading. All right. And in that pleading, did he allege that you were depriving him of physical access to the children? I don't remember the specifics. Do you recall whether he was complaining about you refusing to communicate with him about right of first refusal to the children during your time with them? I know he was frustrated about the Skyping. Mm -hmm. Lack of communication via Skype. It's hard to Skype with, with two toddlers, yes. All right, and um, in that motion, do you recall him being upset about an allegation that you let the kids eat non-kosher foods? I remember him being upset about that in general, but I don't remember whether it was in a motion or not. What does that mean, non-kosher foods? Um, so kosher rules have to do with the separation of milk and meat or dairy and, and meat. Um, so non-kosher foods would be meat that hasn't been killed in a way that conforms with Jewish law um, or the mixing of the two. And is observing those types of eating habits something that's important to you? It is not important to me. And was it something that was important to Dan Markell? It was important to Danny. And it was important to him that the children observe the, that way of eating, correct? It was. And in that motion, did he seek to restrict your mother's contact with the kids to supervised visits only? I'd, I don't remember, but if you'd like to show me the motion, I can take a look. Okay, but you don't remember that portion? No. All right. Do you remember the allegation that your mother made statements to the children that grandma hates you. Grandma says you're stupid. Your father is trying to take my sunshines away. Anything like that, do you recall? No, but again, I'm happy to look at it if you'd like to show me. I understand. Um, do you recall that Mr. Markell was seeking sanctions against you personally in that motion? I don't remember that. Do you know whether this would have been a motion that you would have shown to your mother? Would she have been aware of it? I probably would have shown my mom the motion. And the motion to preclude your mom from having unsupervised contact with your kids, that was still pending at the time of his murder, correct? That's possible. I mean, I, I don't think anyone took that motion very seriously. Oh, okay. Did your mom take it seriously? I don't think so. Did Dan Markell take it seriously? I don't know how Danny felt about a motion. If he wrote the motion, he was probably taking it seriously. So in this trial, Wendy admitted that she was familiar with the pleading, but said she didn't remember the specifics of it, whether he had gripes about the communication with the kids, other than the Skyping, which she mentioned, which she said was hard to do with toddlers. Now, in my very current experience, currently having a toddler, video calls with kids are not difficult. They're actually easier than just audio calls. The toddlers love the video aspect of seeing either their faces or another person's face on the screen communicating with them. So her excuse rings false, in my opinion. She said she didn't remember whether Dan was trying to restrict Donna's access to the kids. Again, three minutes earlier, she did say that she was familiar with the pleading. She said she didn't remember that he was seeking sanctions against her personally either. Surprisingly, she admitted that she probably showed the motion to her mom. Let's make a note of that. In this trial, Wendy got a copy of Dan's motion in front of her and paged through it like it was the very first time 
she'd seen it. She keeps her head down for over a minute while Georgia asks her questions about the contents of the motion, and she answers the questions all without making eye contact. So strange. I really need a body language expert who can come and help explain this behavior. If any of you guys is one such person, one such expert, please let me know. Or if you know somebody who would be willing to come on the channel as a guest, please let me know. Send me an email, presumedlegal at gmail.com. Anyway, she keeps her eyes down for the majority of this line of questioning. And again, she emphatically said that neither her nor her mom, Donna, took the motion seriously. When asked what the outcome of the motion was, she again thumbed through the document and pretended to look for an order. When Georgia says there is no order because Dan passed away before it could be ruled on, Wendy, in a brief moment of what I can only call glee, laughs. If you blink, you might miss it, but this moment makes my skin crawl because it seems like her mask slipped and she couldn't contain the fact that she was thrilled to no longer have to deal with Dan or his motions. Let's watch and let me know, how do you guys interpret that? Motion was filed by Dan Markell on March 26th of 2014, so shortly before his death. I see it. Okay, what was that motion? Former husband's counter motion for enforcement of MSA on parenting issues and motion for contempt and sanctions. And in that motion, did he allege that you were violating the marital settlement agreement in a variety of ways? Yes, it looks like he did. Including failing to facilitate communication between he and the boys, failing to keep him informed of where his kids are, failure to communicate about parenting decisions like the kids schooling diet and extracurricular activities things like that yes that looks right all right and was he as part of this motion seeking to enjoin you from allowing your mother to have time with the children that was unsupervised by another adult i am not seeing that right now but i can continue reading through okay, it okay take your time Actually, oh wait, still going. Is this a question that you need refreshing on? Did did your husband make these allegations? You don't have an independent recollection of that? I don't have an independent recollection. Okay. I made a lot of allegations that weren't true, so I need right. to look through to figure out which ones we're talking about. Okay. Okay, I see it. I see what you're referencing. All right, so in that filing, Dan Markell alleges that your mother is disparaging him to the children, correct? That is correct. And he was seeking a court order saying she couldn't have contact with the kids unless there was another adult present, correct? I see that here. I don't think I took it seriously at the time, so it didn't really lodge in my memory. Did but your I... mom take it seriously? No. Was it ever ruled on? I don't know. If it were, it should be here, right? Yes, ma'am. Is it here? No, it's not. It was scheduled to be ruled on in August of 2014, right? I don't know. Right? I don't know when it was scheduled for. I knew. No, I do know that nobody took it very seriously. Okay. So your mom wasn't worried about that that motion being granted. Okay. So my question is this, Wendy, what did you take seriously? Because you're downplaying these requests for relief during the pendency of your divorce make you sound ridiculous. You testified that you didn't really take your own motion to relocate seriously. You thought there was only a slight chance of, of success. So why on God's green earth would you spend the money and the mental energy on multiple filings that you, quote, were relieved got denied? Nobody believes you. You said you love your kids, yet you didn't take seriously the very real possibility that their lives would be upended by relocating to a faraway place without the familiarity of their dad, friends, or school. You didn't take seriously the very real possibility that your life 
would be upended because you couldn't just leave the kids with your parents anymore? Did your mother, Donna Adelson, re review the uh, filing in which Dan Markella is accusing you of the theft and all this stuff? I don't remember if she did. What about the one where Dan Markell is asking that your mother not be permitted to have unsupervised visitation with the kids? My mom never saw that because after he filed that, he then asked my parents to babysit the kids. My mom baked him banana bread, gave him a hug goodbye. So there so, was nothing truthful about that pleading that he filed and my mom right. never saw it. Why do you think he filed that? He was really angry at me for leaving him. Okay, so he didn't really want to limit your mom's visitation with the kids. No, and he that's asked evidence. For her to babysit after he filed that evidence by the banana bread, and and so she didn't even know about that filing. She never knew about it. Okay, and when she uh, laid all those options out in that email to you about other options that you could take to relocate to. Uh, secure the relocation as far as bribing, remember that? Converting the Christian children to Christianity, remember that suggestion? I sure do. Okay, um, what did she put in there that she viewed as your most non-negotiable and most important part of your divorce? I don't know, do you have something I can see? States Exhibit 57. is page one. Page one, paragraph two. So you want me to read what she said here? I want you to answer the question. What was the most important part? Of the divorce for my mom. Yes. It says here that for her, it was relocation. Okay, former husband's counter motion for enforcement of marital settlement agreement on parenting issues and motion for contempt and sanctions. Here he's alleging, again, more violations of the marital settlement agreement, including communication between he and the boys. He wasn't happy with how much communication was happening, failing to keep him informed of where his kids are failure to communicate about parenting decisions like the kid's schooling, diet, and extracurricular activities, and refusal to provide him access to the kids on their birthdays. So he's complaining about a lot of things associated with this, not just money stuff, it's parenting stuff too, right? That's right. And, and isn't it in this motion that, yes, sir. Oh, I said that, that's right. Isn't it in this motion that Dan Markell seeks to enjoin you from allowing your mother from spending time with the kids without supervision? Can you please show me which page that's on? 450. Do you see a paragraph beginning on three specific occasions? Yes, I do. Could you read that please? 8A, on three specific occasions in November 2013, the children informed Mr. Markell, Abba, Dad, Grandma says you're stupid. When, when queried as to why Grandma, the maternal grandmother, would say such things, the children replied jointly that it is because she says you are trying to take her sunshines away from her. Continue, please. In December 2013, you don't have to say the name, yeah. your child. My child, the younger son, further stated to Mr. Markell in front of the former wife, Abba, grandma says she hates you. The children were visiting with their grandparents at that time. Mr. Markell is concerned that continued exposure to such negativity forms a foundation for parental alienation. Is that what he was alleging about your mom? That is what he is alleging in this document, yes. And this was filed in court. He filed this in court. On what date? Um, it will be at the front of the document, right? Yes, ma'am, page 441. 
This was filed on March 26th, 2014. And this was the filing that never got ruled on, right? I don't believe there was any ruling on this. And that's because Dan Markell was killed before the hearing, right? I don't know when it was scheduled for. It wasn't even scheduled yet. Okay. It was waiting to be scheduled when he was killed. If, if, is it fair to say your mom was worried about this motion? No, my mom never knew about this motion. And as I mentioned before, Danny asked my mom to babysit after filing this motion. So I don't really believe anything that's written here. So again, we see Wendy acts like she has no idea that Dan filed the Sunshine's motion that alleged Donna's hostility and belittling him to the children. In fact, she testified that her mom did not even see the motion. And Wendy knew that Donna hadn't seen it because Donna gave Dan a banana bread and a hug. Do I believe that? Nope. Perhaps Donna gave him the banana bread, which she undoubtedly made non-kosher. But I don't believe that Dan asked Donna to babysit the kids for two reasons. First, Dan specifically complained in his motion that Wendy was not abiding by his right of first refusal pursuant to the marital settlement agreement. That provision required Dan and Wendy to give each other, not a grandparent, the first option of childcare when the parent with custody couldn't take care of them. Dan alleged that Wendy didn't give him the option to take care of the kids when she went to, quote, cocktail parties, guest lectures, or leadership conferences, close quote. I don't believe for an instant that after filing this motion, making those allegations, Dan then turned around and did the very thing that he accused Wendy of doing. The second reason I don't believe he did that is because he specifically asked the court to prevent Wendy from allowing Donna unsupervised time with the children due to the disparaging comments she made about him to the kids. If he knows that Donna talks bad about him to his kids, there's no way he's allowing her access to them on his watch. I would have to see verified, uncontrovertible proof that Dan asked Donna to babysit after filing this motion before I believe that he did. I know you're not supposed to speak ill of the dead, but I think we ought to not gaslight the dead either. I really would love to see Georgia pin Wendy down on some of these points that can be used to expose the games that she played with not only Dan, but also these juries that she expects to believe her. Well, you forwarded this motion to your mother. I don't believe via I did. email. In fact, you forwarded this motion to 12 different people. Your mom, Jeffrey Lacoste, Renee Griggs, Tova Walsh, Morgan Honeycutt, Gary Cohen, Miguel Edmondson, Trey Hubler, Robert Adelson, Rachel Frank, Jared Reich, and some M-E-H-U-L-N-Y-C at yahoo.com. So if you weren't worried about this, why'd you send it to all these people? I couldn't really say. It's been a long time. And then a couple days later, we know what happened. So this was in March. So a couple days, I filed it, I sent it to people in July when Danny you was You sent it, I'm sorry, you sent it a couple days later. I sent the- I That sent email to 12 different people. In March. Okay. Yes. Here we Adelson, you may step down for now. Guaranteed, we're going to see Wendy feign the same confusion, failure to remember blatant facts, ask obvious questions like, I don't know, was this ruled on? It's disgusting, but 
While we're all watching Donna's trial, let's keep an eye out for all these elements of her performance. So that's all for today. Let me know in the comments if you think that someone not familiar with this case could ever believe Wendy's performance on this issue. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel so that we can grow our community and make new friends. Until the next drop, peace y'all.